Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And they do it. Well, they hijack. Every, yeah, genetically they mm-hmm. hijack everyone. Right. And um, that changes people's perspectives too, because if they keep promoting that, then when you, as a person who's brown, say you're Native American, you get a side eye. You know, people are like, really? You know, what you Indian in your family? You know, it, you get a side yeah. eye. Like, it, you're stating is not fact, but visually you look 90% of what they look like. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, exactly. I would, question, yeah, I would question the clinical status of what they're, when people are getting authentify, uh, authenticating, whether they're getting their test um, validated or not as a Native American. I think it's, I personally think it's been, um, Overtaken and um, it's it's a it's a false positive or a false negative. Mm, mm, indeed. Well, like you said earlier, I mean, when we take our ancestry test, I mean, they take us straight to Africa. <laughs> you yeah. know, and it's, um, but yeah, the Africans are saying no. Yeah. Right, but the Africans are saying no. Y'all from over here? Oh, okay, well, how is they that? They don't well, even they, well, they, um, yeah, they Louis, don't Right, when Louis Henry Gates just told me I came from from um from Africa, <laughs> you know, and, Can I play and, my and, and and I'm not saying that I'm not from Africa. I'm just saying that maybe it could have been further back than just 400 years ago. It could be a yeah, thousand, exactly. five thousand, a hundred thousand, two million years ago. Mm-hmm. Of course, the yeah. Marcus, Marcus, the but who's to say that it changed show, the I'm African. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but who? that the African DNA, because they're going to go across your mitochondrial from your mother's side, because the matriarchal side carries that extra DNA. So they usually go sure. along with her line. So when they carry her line, what happens is that if, the, that's what our girlfriend was like, well, what if we do it at black colleges? It doesn't matter. If they get all their criteria for the test from Europe, which all of them come from, especially in um, the Norwegian area, like Switzerland and Sweden, for their standards, then it's all already corrupted. So it doesn't matter that it says Africa it's probably a lie. And it's probably saying that any time a Native American bloodline from this particular, you know, uh, mitochondria shows up, they'll say it's African and it's maybe totally Native American from the America. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, we, I mean, you can't, if you're sleeping in the bed with the devil, he's going to do some devilish things. So we can't yeah. trust him at any level. Mm-hmm. True. You're I don't right. have any information right. I get from anybody who's cut off the nose of African statues every time they come in. I'm not trusting them because they've already whitewashed <laughs> everything. What makes me think they're going to they're gonna not do it with information regarding me and mine? I don't trust it unless I can test right. it myself and go to my people and find out and just and um, verify it myself. I agree. Mm-hmm. And it goes back to Buddha. Buddha looking very reminiscent of a black man with very curly or coarse hair curly hair, mm. Buddha being a big, fat black man who was living in Asia. You go back to the Japanese that look like pure black people, beautiful, beautiful yeah. melanated black people. Cool. I mean, we go all over the planet. You got Omeg heads. You got accounts of people having conversations and interactions with their melanated galactic families. But then when the European comes, he collects all this data, takes everything for himself, throws out everything and burns any information regarding us and then starts over from scratch and, mm-hmm. you know, and just and just inserts himself in the culture of the galactic family. Because you know for a fact, I know for a fact, that there is no white person who's non-melanated who can leave this atmosphere without their brains falling apart. Because that, right. that, um, that belt, that, 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 um, those gamma rays, even when your, your pineal gland is pretty um, strong and healthy, anybody going out who doesn't have melanin will not survive that journey outside, um, especially with the gamma rays. So, Right. You cannot go and right. the planet without melanin. And speaking, exactly. And, and speaking of that, I wanted to ask you about um, the sister that they found on the moon. I know you've probably seen that documentation. What do you think <laughs> about that? Yes. Yeah, she, she, I think she's me. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that cosmonaut, that sister is a cosmonaut. She is, um, I personally believe she is from the, a, a clan of cosmo, female cosmonauts that fly very often around. Um, some of them may be associated with the Andromedans, but I believe she's from a colony on Mars. Um, she right. also had another and, brown sister. And, and, and she had six fingers. And she had six she fingers, so she, she, so she <laughs> has black, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful braided, yep. dreaded hair. She was shaped right. just like us, in a color. 
features just like I, t- I tell people when, you know, black people try to get funny, I was like, she looks just like me. So you, what are you going to say? Right. You consider me a black woman. Right. Exactly. So what do you say? Yeah, so what would you say any different about her? And also I heard, this is on the sidebar, and they will never give this information out, she was, a, she was accompanied with another body that was a really right. dark, beautiful brown sister that they will never mm-hmm. tell you was with her. And she was right. there. And they had her body. Right. The only one they showed right. this one because she looked more Indian type of look, you know, to them, more copper. Exactly. Look. But the other one right. was more melanin. They don't want to show you her. Right. And they even they even are lighting her up now. From, of course. From certain pictures I've seen. I'm like, oh, this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Well, they whitewash this thing. We shouldn't be surprised. We should accept it at this point. I expect, if they do anything less than that, I'd be shocked. I'm shocked. <laughs> and, 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 you know, remember, and, you know, listen, I, I keep it real with my people that are white. Like, they respect that because, really, it, should, it, it shouldn't be that serious. You tell me that there's white supremacy even when it comes to the UFO community, and, it's, and I didn't realize it was that bad until I went into it. And, and you should hear some of the, what they say is, like, what you're doing involved in this. They don't want you. They don't want you uneducated yeah. monks. But realize that they're, exactly. monkeys, they're the ones mixed with the DNA of eight, and we are not. Exactly. That's why we have and less hair not. in our body. Right. <laughs> it's, it's like the flip mode of information, and they're really confused. Um, and um, when I talk to a lot of my white contactees and abductees, they talk about coming in contact. Like one grandmother, I'll tell you one story, which I think blew my mind last week. It was a grandmother, really cool white grandmother. She's... um. Her grandson um, is in college. No, he was in high school at the time. I'm sorry. And he went to the beach. I think this is somewhere in Cali near those mountains. See, another thing, um, there's some caves over in Cali. I forgot the location. Mount Shasta, is that it? Maybe over there. Um, he was on the beach. He's looking out, and he sees this black being walking through the water. Now, mind you, he's on the beach. The being is walking all the way deep into the, you know, in the ocean, Waves are going past this thing. It's not facing them. He said he looked like he was eight feet, but we know he had to be at least 16 feet to be that far out. She said her grandson has not been able to sleep. He's never been right. He doesn't want to talk about it. He talked about it with her, and she believes him. She said, I believe him. He, she was like, he, he it changed his whole sense of self. He, he doesn't think the same way. He feels differently. He, he said, yeah, he's living his life now, but he feels... Like this presence he saw, black, let's keep it real, this black man that was almost 16 feet walking in the middle of the ocean that he saw, he witnessed, it freaked them out. And that is what white people feel when they see anything that has to do with us in a cosmic way. It freaks them out. It scares the holy hell out of them. Yeah. 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 And it well, scares them because they've been mistreating. Yeah, they mistreated right. a lot of black people on the planet for so long, and they don't want any repercussions for that. True. Well, I mean, uh, if you if you have individuals, you know, like Norman, you know, um, Bergeron, uh I would think that, um, you know, uh, I don't know how more serious you can get than that than a NASA scientist. Yeah. And oh my God! <laughs> you know it was real. You saw his face. He was disgusted. You saw his face right when he said it. He looked disgusted. That's a real reaction. He said, "No, black." He was exactly. disgusted when he said. it. And it wasn't a, right. a, a feeling oh, like, oh, you said that's that cool. he was dark complected. You said he was dark complected. He was dark complected. Like, no, I said black. Is that no, <laughs> Carrie Cassidy, you, are, you already know how I feel about Carrie Cassidy. I can't, I can't go in on her anymore. She, you know, you know, our ancestors have come at her recently. I won't say any more. And she's starting to want to speak out more. But like I said, if you're not telling us the truth and you're hearing it, then you just is basically a liar to me. That's how I feel. Because if this right. is the ET community, we're supposed to be whistleblowing in all matters. Why would you hold that back? Why that information back? You don't talk about green ETs, or octopus spaces, ETs, frogs with the people, you know, people mixed with all kinds of other DNA. But that freaks you out the most? Right. Well, well you, you, you know what I found interesting is the fact that um, when I studied David Icke's information, and I've been studying since he came out, you know, um, really. Um, and he, and it, when he went to Crudo Moutoir, and he studied under the Crudo Moutoir, um, 
and then write his book, The Biggest Secrets, and say that, you know, that so-called white people came from Mars, I damn near laughed out the damn chair when oh I was like, Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, huh? That's, that's I was like, not um, hold on. Let me go to the Zulu Bone Oracle book where Kuna Mutua wrote the introduction, and he states specifically that the word Amazulu, which is the name of his of the African tribe in South Africa, um, means sky people, and that his people came from the sky, came from the red planet um, prior to coming to the blue planet, which is the Earth. On the red planet, which is Mars, they say that it was a catastrophe in which that wiped off the surface. Um, and obviously, he's talking about the destruction of Maldic and Malona, you know, which happened mm-hmm. in the Axis Belt, you know, as he, um, um, in history. And he said that the men impregnated the women, um, and they formed their macabres, Merkab, Mer, M-E-R again, mm-hmm. um, the macabres, mm-hmm. and journey to the earth interdimensionally. Now, he said they, they was impregnated with the seed already from the men. Um, now, this sounds just like the damn Superman story. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, the hijack. Another bit of information hijacked again, once again. <laughs> right, right, right. And I'm like, this sounds is... Now, now I'm like, hold on. Either Queen of Mutua, he said that this is an oral tradition amongst the Amaz- um, Amazulu people for hundreds and thousands of years. And here it is, the comic book coming with Superman have to flee the planet um, in a ship, you know, and um, come to planet Earth because this planet got destroyed. That's the same story, the same scenario. You know, in which that Queen Mutua talked about how, on how the Amazulu people, which is a dark skinned, brown skinned people um, mm-hmm. in South Africa, and how they get to the planet Earth. Exactly. And that's a fact. And they hijacked the information and they made it into something that seems so fantabulous that people think it's like some sort of fantasy or some sort of sci fi. And it's really fast. And if you read the book, now this is a book everybody should. I love these twins. They're called um, Shirlene Wallace, wrote a book called um, yes. From the Motherland mm-hmm. to the Mothership. Oh, my yeah. God, you want to talk about it? But she talks about the colony on Mars. A whole bunch of black people on Mars. So the, right. You know that the most black people on Mars. I mean, this is what we're talking about. And we're talking about tall. We have so many different types of beings that are tall, thin, and very dark. But then you also have the cosmonauts who look very much like me. And many of them look very reminiscent of me. And they're like copper-looking women that tend to right. um, you know, go out and travel almost like scouting. They're scouters. They go out and right. go to new places to see what it's like, to see what's going on. So, but we don't talk about And we don't talk about the female melanated ETs because, God forbid, um, we even get in that conversation <laughs> and blow people away. Um, well, I mean, um, let's, we let's have go that. there because, I mean, that's the reason why I brought up the um, sister on the moon. Um, and and we've seen how large that ship um, is. That, that oh, ship is larger than, than, um, than many of the buildings, actually all the buildings in Manhattan, but um, just as long as the, um, you know, along the Hudson River, the whole daggone, probably Almost the whole of the Manhattan down, you know, um, um, I guess the ocean side um, or, or riverside view of Manhattan. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, that, I mean that shit was gigantic. You know, so I'm like, I know damn well that they found more than just like you said, just um, absolutely. So, um, well, I know they said one sister had a head cut off; she was just decapitated, and then, like mm-hmm. you said, they spoke of another sister who was more dark skinned. They don't talk mm-hmm. about her, and then, of course, the one in which that they show us, you know, which that they took the apparatus off of, which that was attached to her third eye because that's what she third realized eye, to exactly. got. Exactly, and that's how we that's right. how we run our ship. It's through our third mm-hmm. eye, and if you ever right, watch, right. it's great. For anyone to watch, is SoundCloud Atlas. Watch when um, Halle Berry comes to the planet. What does she have? She has one of those apparatuses on her third eye. They mm. always put the truth out. SoundCloud yeah, Atlas. Wow. Com, who has never seen it? I was waiting for the longest time for it to come out. Nobody even knew about it. It is a gem, plus a gem, plus a gem. Gotta watch it. A lot of bit of a lot of information in there, and they tell you who we are. Um, right. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them again. Um. Sound. Um. Uh. Um. Sound. Uh. 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 Cloud out. Atlas. Cloud Atlas. Okay. Cloud out. Um. Great movie. It's so hard. It was weird because when it came out, nobody really went to go see it. 
I was waiting for it to come out. And when it came out, it stayed out for a second. And then I waited for it to come on video. And I swear to God, they kept it out of the public for the longest mm. time. And it was mm. wild because I was like, maybe they know. Because I was waiting right. for it. Because that was the movie I was waiting for. I don't see a lot of movies. I just go to see ones that I relate to. You know, I'm a, I'm a Trekkie type, type of chick. So <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh-huh. sci-fi or something like that, I just I stay out of, you know, the movie theaters. I don't really want the mind control or the subliminal messages either, but I'll, I'll mm-hmm. stomach it a little bit for a show, like something that can get some gems for, like Avatar or Cloud right. Atlas or something like that. Um, um, but we have a bunch of cosmonauts, female cosmonauts, and the reason why they're able, why they pick particular females to do long scouting missions is because they're made of a lot of water and they store it better and they're able to travel right. and permeate through different dimensions a little easier than a male, based on their right. physiology. Right. Oh. right. The melanin, the um, pineal gland, is is yeah. more so activated within the woman than, than the male species. Right, yeah. exactly. And that's where you'll see um, the women traveling amongst each other. And a lot of, um, mm-hmm. you'll notice, it's, uh, I believe that those a couple of those cosmonauts have seated um, You'll see them too because you'll, they're reminiscent of each other. Like a lot of the cosmonauts see here, they are a copper looking woman. Very reminiscent right. to the mm-hmm. Egyptian women. And there's something to that. Their skin almost looks like a brown gold, like a darkish right. brown. Like even with the brown, there's like a gold underneath. That's a certain genealogy, a certain bloodline, too. Right. Um, and um, they travel. Um, also, there's another group of females that turn into birds. I believe they're able to. Um, transform themselves from birds. You hear about them in Africa, and they call them right. witches. They're right, able right. to um, shape shift into right. what we consider big black birds. Um, mm-hmm. And a lot of murdered a lot of times that they're found out. And they were saying it's not true. It's it's been it's it's been confirmed. A lot of people talk about their grandmothers or those were known to be those birds, and it was a secret in the family. And they would be able to fly uh, across the sea where there would be food or vegetation somewhere so they would tell their tribe to um, be able to migrate to a, a better place that was more plush and resource. Um, and, and, you know, again, on the Egyptian walls, we see all these pictures and depictions of all these animal heads on people, and really because they were all those genealogy types that were existing here. Mm-hmm. So the reptoid, the hawk-looking people, the... Um, you know, frog people, all kinds of different, you know, lion, cat people. We've got those entities here. I have a picture of some homeboys. It's so crazy, though. Kids, he contacted me. He was scared. And he's from L.A. And that's what I'm saying. This is real information happening in the hood. This ain't um, <laughs> Becky in the cornfield. This is a dude. They were hanging out. <laughs> right. Hanging out, this homies, is, you know. The of dreams. Right. This ain't Becky in the field of dreams. Yeah, yeah, you know, they were homies hanging out. Um, they were at a, a, one of their homies apartment complexes, and they were on the third or fourth floor. No, it was the fourth, third or fourth floor. And he said, yo, I'm, I don't know what this is in the picture. A lot of times I get different pictures, and some of them I, I, I try to send because I'm not a verifier. I can look and see if I think it looks crazy, and then I'll send it to my people, you know, my other <laughs> people who are actually obsessed with, you know, verifying, going through the clinical process of trying to see if it's, you know, verif- you know, if it's real, if it's mostly real or not. But he sent me a picture, and him and his dude, you know, they got their, <laughs> and I, this is how as real as it gets, they're gangbangers. So they got their crypt, their crypt, you know, hand signals up. <laughs> and in the background, in the window, it, it's scary as all hell. You see a, a cat-looking being through the curtain. It's freaky. And it's nothing that would be set up. It's not like a... It's not like purposely, you know, like Photoshop. It would be crazy if it was Photoshop, but it was peeking through the curtain, and it looked like a, a cat being. It, it's freaky. It actually scared, you know, it actually gave me chills on my body. So I was like, wait a second. He said, yo, we seen a picture. We, <laughs> you know, they were smoking weed, too, so they thought they were hallucinating. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they have mm-hmm. an all and it's all it's a picture. So now they sent it to me. And I should have said my people, I, listen, I don't know what it was, but it looked like one of those cat beings. And it wasn't on, it wasn't a balcony. It was on the third or fourth floor. So this being was up outside the window, peering in. And it was a, it was being outside of the window on the third or fourth floor. 
looking in the window. It wasn't in the house. It was looking inside the window, peering through the curtain. You could see its face through the curtain. It was frightening. And that's one of the cats. And that's one you of the cats. Huh? Hello? Mm. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, because so, I always, right, because um, as a child, um, I always felt like, you know, someone was looking or watching, you know, like that song that Michael Jackson um, helped produce, you know, you know, I always feel like somebody's <laughs> watching me. You know what I'm saying? But it's, <laughs> but it's true. I mean, but remember, if you if you if we understand that we're living in a hologram, sort of, right, and right, we're really, if we get it, we're really not living in the real reality. We're living almost like in a dream state. And sure. everything outside of us that's peering and looking and visually seeing us is maybe more tangibly real than we are. We're experiencing right. and, something and, that's not. It really they the told us this in kindergarten when they when they told us the song about row 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 you boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. Yeah. Uh, and there you go. And another good movie to prove this is Inception. Go watch the movie Inception. See, I got all these buzz movies that I'll. Yes, Inception is exactly. Yeah. Yo, Inception mm-hmm. goes into that different levels of awakening, and some you got to go bomb to wake up to the next level. You got to blow up a big boom, <laughs> and then you get to the next level, but it's another dream. So, right. um, it's that concept that we're into. We're interlayered in a hologram, an interactive hologram, and that's why co-creating is what happens. That synchronicity that we all experience. Whenever you have more synchronicity, it's because you're waking up and you're seeing aspects of what you're that's thinking awesome. manifesting to you. What right. else does that well, but a hologram? Right, and and this and, and it makes sense because I mean, how else, if 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 this was an illusion or a hologram, then I would not be able to clone because um you your body's made of seventy six trillion cells. If I take one cell, I can clone a whole nother you in existence because that one cell contains the exact information, long term um a memory, uh, short term memory, uh, RNA, DNA, and I can clone a whole nother you in existence. You know, um, that wouldn't be possible if your whole body template wasn't a hologram. And a hologram, in order to survive, needs light. And that's the first thing scientists tell you, oh, you need to go and get some sun. You know, otherwise you'll suffer from sad or seasonal afflicted disorder. (laughs) You know, so this this is true. You know, this is true. And us being the oldest hologram on the planet, you know, um, we need at least one to three hours of Light a day, so light a day. As yes, we say, who's the who's the most recent? You no, know, no more than fifteen to twenty minutes. Otherwise, he'll catch um, um, carcinoma and um, melanoma. There you go. And it, and this is another thing that we have to realize. The reason why buildings and stuff, you know, people think it's funny when I say this, but these are caves we're living in. We didn't have to. <laughs> we're living in caves. All these protected right. buildings and stuff like that, these are to enclose an entity that should not be outside, that cannot, does not have, that's why they have fur on them. It's to protect them from the sun. They're not natural to the, to the environment. And we have to get sun. To be conscious, we get fed from the sun. We get information galactically from the sun. There's a lot of things. And the fact that we wear a lot of clothing, now I get a lot of, you know, listen, clothing is what we do here. But Wearing too much clothing on our body, our body is the largest, or our skin is the largest organ we have. Our skin, right. our skin needs to touch right. every it, aspect it, 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 part right. of and our skin. And it's our skin. second lung. Right, it's yeah, our second exactly. lung. It breathes. I mean, it has pores. So you can breathe and, through your yep. skin. Yes, and the reason why a lot of us get sick, people of color, with osteoporosis and other things, is because we're not getting enough sun. We're not getting enough right. exposure to sun. And putting all these creams with parabens, and chemicals or sealers that block any sort of absorption from any vitamin D or or any energetic um, absorption we get from the sun. So we got to be mindful of that. Unless it's organic, unless it's edible, we shouldn't put it on our skin. If you can't eat something, it shouldn't go on your body. If I can't put it on my little one. Yeah, I don't put anything on their body that I can't put in my mouth and not get sick. Right. Hair, body, anywhere. And they make it so that others live. We should not mimic a creature that looks nothing like us. They're very different than us. And it doesn't make them wrong or, or less. It's just they're different. And we cannot mimic something like that. Right. Or they have it. You know? I hope everybody listening to this. Because <laughs> this is nothing but you know, the truth. Person, 
Well, you know, we were supposed to, we're, we're very, uh, you know, we're supposed to pick from the vine. We're supposed to be eating fruits, raw things, not cooked. The only reason things started to cook is because they were living in colder regions where they did not have heat source and they could not, they had, you know, they killed something or they didn't have vegetation. So they had to kill something, they had to outsource and cook it. They had to do that. That's why people cook. We're doing those things and we don't have to anymore. You can buy vegetables and fruit and eat it purely. You can eat a banana, right? Well, a lot of bananas are genetically modified. I wouldn't suggest that, but you can eat a mango. You can eat a pineapple. You can eat that straight ahead. You can eat a nice fresh salad. You don't have to burn anything to cook it. You know, for the Christians, I got a, a whole thing on Jesus being a raw vegan. <laughs> Blow their mind. <laughs> right. Yeah. In order for us to wake up and open certain information that is inside of us, we don't have to go to leaders anymore. Every bit of information you need to go to the next level is all within you, and it's accessible. It's just to what degree you raise, you cleanse yourself or clear yourself to get that information. You know, you have to be of the vibration to get that particular information. You have to be. You know, and I tell people all the time, I'm 43 now, but when I was, could not have certain information, I wasn't ready and prepared for it. A lot of the things I'm seeing on the esoteric level, um, things I'm seeing visually, would have flipped me out <laughs> in my 20s. I'm being honest. Some, but the 20-year-olds now are starseeds, so they can handle it. Me at 20, seeing things popping in the middle of the room, big beams of light, that would have flipped me out. I wasn't prepared for certain information. I am now. So you're seeing certain right. people waking up at the time they need to, and um, and you don't, and that's another thing we can't force, we can't force a, a horse to go drink, even if we know he's thirsty. He has to want to do that himself. Right, right. Because giving people too much information too quickly could really damage them if they're not ready. That's true. Right. Because anybody listening to this show was prepared subconsciously, spiritually, to hear this. That's true. And That's if they what we learned, did. maybe some of that, yeah, somebody there sharing it with needed that information. Right. That's true. All right. Well, let's, let's get back to the PSYOPs um, program. Yeah, also. man. I, I want to get back to that because we spoke about the Mandela <laughs> effect. We spoke about the yes. black extraterrestrial. So let's get to that PSYOP. Okay. Well, they're they're covertly working at taking over every aspect of anything, um, any bit of information that would be helpful or, um, you know, we have a lot of sub, subliminal things going on with televisions, with electronics. Uh, the government is being taken over by entities that are not human. <laughs> I can, and that is verifiable because some of them don't even act human anymore. That's um, true. We have a, the ETs um, that have, and it's not the reptilians. A lot of people have put a lot of blame, and I, and this is where I'll put some blame on David Icke for doing this, for blanketing a whole bunch of reptoids as taking what? over government. Um, facilities, and I personally think we have insectilians, an insect-type race that is on the top tier, really running the governmental, um, the functioning of the government. I think there's tiers of dracons below it, another type of reptilian, but I don't think on the top tiers, this is my opinion. I think it's a bunch of insectoid-type of creatures. That's why they colonize. That's why they got a queen. They do all these bug-type things. They don't have any emotional connection to anything. They're very android-like very robotic. Um, I believe these entities are on the top tiers. And what they do, these type of insectilians, they're scientists, and they're able to mess with your electronics. Um, They've mastered low elf waves, especially in the hood. And I talk to people in the hood, I tell you, you know, all my wonderful melanated people, do not have your cell phones or your laptops or your iPads or your iPhone next to you when you sleep because they put in this low elf wave frequency and it goes into your body because remember we're 90% most of our body, 70% of our body is liquid water, which is, remember we know water can be transferred to a different frequency. Um, and they insert certain information into you, lower vibrational information, and um, kind of hijack your, your, your um, consciousness. 
um, and it messes with you radiation wise because it messes with your uh, your neurons. It messes with your um, your your bodily system. A lot of people have a lot of issues based on that. And men have to stop wearing cell phones on their waist because it messes with their testicular area and stuff like that. And we see a lot of men showing signs of issues with that because they're wearing the cell phones low on them in that region. Um, that's right. one but, one way that we can be getting it. Right, right, because they all experience the impotency, um, prostrate, um, prostate problems, all types of illnesses, yeah. right? Yes, because what they said with that is that it's not just the cell phones. A lot of the foods you're eating have metals in them, and all the barium and the aluminum that they're spraying with the chemtrails is going into your system. So now you have all this metal that's magnetic, because metal is, is, is propelled by frequency, and then you take an electrical device and put that next to people who have a whole bunch of metal in them, and it will mess with you physiologically and mentally. Um, so, you know, that's just a little sidebar I had to throw in there. Because <laughs> um, I, I think a lot of people don't even realize that, just the little things that they're doing. And we have um, a lot of our organizations have been taken over by others. And I don't want to drop too many names, even though I know, because it, it, it's a very um, very slippery slope, <laughs> as far as what I could say in that arena. All I would say is a lot of these organizations that are top, not what we consider to be black organizations, have been covertly overtaken by something or someone else. And I'm talking about every nation, every part of okay. our organizations. I'm talking about the Nation of Islam. I'm talking about the, um, the Hebrew Israelites. I'm talking about um, we got entities that have been inserted in those organizations to covertly take over and change the movement of things and change how we interact amongst each other and also to get intel from what any of us are doing on the conscious circuit. And I always tell people be very mindly of what you're deciding to do and who you decide to kiki with because I don't care if they smile all information that you plan to do in the betterment of yourself or your people should be kept to yourself unless you know that you should share that with specific people and your circle should be tight. You should your cipher should be very tight and, and it should be people that you've known. And like I said, you know, they're cloning people and we see that in the celebrity zone, that cloning people that can replace somebody in in less than six months. Um, you got actors like um Dave Chappelle, which I personally think he's been cloned and replaced. Um, you know, you've got other ones that I know have been cloned and replaced. And, again, they are cloning people at the rate um, like we got chickens laying eggs. I mean, they perfected it. Remember when they were talking about cloning years ago with the, the sheep? What was this, like an eight? Right, what was it? Right, that was yeah. sheep. Now, listen, whenever they tell you that, that means that they're 60 years ahead of whatever they're disclosing to you. They're just giving That's you true. a little little bit of information of something they've already mastered. Now, let's take it to 2016. They are cloning people, um, uh, uh, Dr. Dre. They are cloning people. And also when someone is cloned, I know this seems crazy to people, but this is a fact. They're doing this. and they, they, I mean, it's verified. I can't verify it to you personally, but I know it's verifiable. <laughs> um, they, can, they can clone something or an organism, a full-blown adult in 60 days, in 60, no, before 60, no, I'm sorry in less than six months. And what you'll notice with certain people who are cloned, they look beefed up. They look uh, swollen. That's how you know they've been taken. Um, uh, I know it seems crazy, but if you know that ETs exist and they have technology that supersedes anything that you can conceive and believe, you know that that's, po- that's a possibility and a plausibility. Um, and any time they want an organization to go in the direction that they want it to go to and they don't like to see that there may be some uprising, they will infiltrate and eliminate the entity that they feel has the most power, and they will replace them. Back in the days, they would just kill them and then fascinate them. They don't do that anymore. They, all they have to do is clone them and replace them. And nobody would really know except the loved ones. Um, and the loved ones probably would notice but maybe not state anything, just thinking, because this is not something that's rational. It's not rational technology. It's something we know about. Right, and, and this shouldn't be strange to our audience because Brother Bobby Hemmings spoke about this back in the mid '90s. I was in classes with Brother Bobby Hemmings as he was talking about, as he was one of the first to bring that information out. Um, in the early '90s, there was books written by Val Valerian, um, his Matrix One, and particularly his Matrix Two book, in which he spoke about 
um, President Jimmy Carter, how he was cloned, you know, um, yeah. and he had those, you know, the um, robots and the robot toys and the androids mm-hmm. and um, yep. different clones that's and that's all of this in part two. And it's see, and this, but and look what he's talking about this years ago, and this is a full right. business right now. They have clones that they're selling to the sheep. They got clones of um, what is her name? Uh, what's the little? I forget the singer's name. Not um, oh god, a little blonde singer. This tells you I'm not really oh. in the world anymore. Oh, um, Justin Bieber. Um, no, the the little oh god, Britney Spears, Britney Spears. They got clones Britney, of Britney, Britney yeah. Spears being bought bought man, by man, the sheep. Yeah, she she cracked uh-huh. up on TV. Yeah, yeah she is. She's mind, she's under mind control. Yeah, right. Serious. Yeah, she's not she's not cloned. She's just mind control. But they make clones of her. Right. Right. And you know how deep the clones is because one of one of Madonna's dancers had shared with me a while ago, just a while ago, how when Madonna does concerts and she stays at any place other than where she lives, she has what we call a a, a cleanser or a cleaner. When she walks or touches a glass, she has somebody right behind her who wipes her print or her DNA off the cup or throw it out. She does not let her body or sweat or any part of her DNA touch anything without it being cleaned right behind her. Why do you think she's doing that? She doesn't want any bit of her DNA because she knows they'll clone her. They don't need much to clone you. Right. There's a little bit of your DNA. That's, That's how true. perfect this technology is. There's a speck of blood, right, spittle. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, And like I said, they've infiltrated almost every organization that you could possibly think of to the point where you would think even certain people that you would never think of infiltrated, and it's just just what it is. People have to be very mindful of who they kiki with. Just Mm -hmm. if you're in that Mm -hmm. world that you're trying to, you know, move and shop and trying to do things, then just be keep your cipher closed and just know your people. Like if I talk to you today, you'd be like, hey, da-da-da-da, and you talk to me a certain name, then tomorrow it's like, Hey, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Slurbron. You know, <laughs> you're throwing all changes. Right, right. That chip tooth that you had for 20 years is gone. You know, that mole that used to be on your left face is not, you know, is not there anymore. I'd question. I'd question the validity right. of who I'm seeing in front of me. That's what they do. And when they clone right. the clones yeah. don't come out perfect. They come out different. Right. That's right. You know, some of us fall off a bike when we're six, and we still have a scar on our right foot from all our whole life. So you see a clone, that clone doesn't have that scar anymore. That's how you know it's a clone. Exactly. Okay? Somebody's been smoking weed for 20 years, their lips are a little darker, like they fell. All of a sudden, they start coming out, their lips look okay, kind of reddish and pinkish. What happened? <laughs> lips are, you know what I'm saying? Little things like that. We've got to be mindful because that's the world we're living in. We're living in a world becoming very much um, robotic, and it's based on the fact that they're starting to replace humans because those others that they had working for them cannot live on the surface of the planet. That magnetic field is coming in, and I don't care how much chemtrails they're doing, everybody can feel it. White people are not reproducing at the rate um, that they used to. And also, um, as we know, a lot of prophets have predicted that, um, you know, that's why I think they're, they're letting a floodgate of Muslims going into Europe is to melanate right. some of those Europeans. Right, there's my a lot of rape going on, told, and that's odd. Right, right. My my biology teacher told me, and um, matter of fact, told my wife and me in um college that um his name is Doctor Knuckles. He's passed on now, but he said um he said Europeans, are, uh, white so called white people, would not be here um too much long after twenty fifth um twenty twenty five. Yeah, they'll be gone. So, Unless they're right, underground. Right. Unless they're underground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they won't be able to exist. And like I said, you know, there's a couple weird unsavory people on YouTube that are others. And like I said, they've been traveling. I think some of these people have traveled from the future that are Europeans. they all underground. That's why they're creating these cities. They cannot live on the surface of the planet. That's why we shouldn't right. be concerned. But remember, we got a whole bunch of unsavory, sick black people who've been, who've been abused and victimized, right. and they're not well. And you've got to be concerned about those individuals living on the surface of the planet without, within, within, the, within the realm of tyranny. So that's what mm. we have to be concerned. Okay? Mm. We'll say, oh, kumbaya, the white people are gone. But remember, this organization with what we have so far, you take everything apart, anarchy, and then you, then you replace that with people that have been, um, you know, socially um, depreciated. 
and there there will be a, a, a you know it's going to be interesting to say the least. Yeah, yeah it's going to be interesting. So you know. <laughs> And my wife and uh, dad say all the time, we don't need on. intervention. <laughs> yeah, we say we don't need divine yeah. intervention. <laughs> oh, we'll be fine. No, many, many of the star seeds are already, they already have domes. Yeah, already um, this is from my contact yeah. experience. They already have cities above certain places that you can't right. see that are right above us. And those places are free people who vibrate at a certain frequency, and you'll be fine. Right. If you're vibrating what? at a I mean, high I, frequency. You're right, that's that thing they've been, talk, they been talking about, like in China, um, um, floating cities just just coming out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. You know, and those cities are also cities places. that come up every seven years. Yeah, right. they, they're all and also also the city above. What is it? Niger- is it Nigeria? No, maybe it's, I forgot where right. it was. Another city. It's like a dome city. Um, some um town in Africa. And it's right above, and they can see it. It's beautiful, but it's not right. like a dome, almost like a permeable kind of a bubble around it. That's where we're going. Right. Those who, those who are contacting you, and know, remember, you know, your parents, your parents are watching over you. We were here to be cultivated, and a lot of us are blooming. Okay, so, um, you know, you don't pick a flower before it's bloomed. You know, a lot of us are blooming and to, to the point where we're cultivated enough to be able to go on to the next level, and that's what we're here for. That's all it is. Right. Well, if you have a soul, everlasting. Right. right. Not everybody has a soul though, but if you got a soul, you good. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we got about fifteen more minutes before we close out. Um, you have any closing right. remarks that you want, or anything that um, any other topic that you want to get into, anything in which that you want to um, have the audience to look out for. Um, I just want people to be mindful and start looking up in the sky, you know, um, start being mindful of their energy levels, start to really start to reflect on self and take care of self, um, you know, and be open. Yeah, I know many people, this might seem very fantastic, but, um, you know, again, I'm a regular person, I'm a mother, so, you know, I'm a, <laughs> I'm in this life, but remember, this is a very practical way of life, and, and don't let it deter you from finding out who and what you are, and really seizing that moment. And um, I just wish everybody well, you know. That's it. All right. Brother, Brother L, you have any closing remarks? Yes, I enjoyed the show as usual. Uh, glad to have you on, on the show. Sister. Hope to have you back here soon. Yeah, definitely, anytime. I like talking, chatting with you gentlemen. It's fun. Right, right. Well, um, oh, it's great, um, it's great information. I know my wife got some closing remarks. Yes, we definitely enjoyed the show. Thank you so much, Goddess, for gracing the stage. Um, I just want to do a couple of announcements. Yes, we really, really enjoyed it. I don't know if you've seen the flyer, but I thought it was perfect. You had on your um, your Mardi Gras um, mask, your angelic (laughs) mask. It was so cute. Thank um, you. I just love the laughter too. Every time you laughed, I did too. I was like, I know that's right. We don't have nothing to worry about because we resonated at the right vibrations, and we definitely have souls. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to take this time out real quick to, um, if you have questions, um, callers. If y'all have questions, please just press the one, and then we'll bring you in. Um, but real quick, we do have our 16th annual United Washita Conference. Um, if you would like to reserve your space, go to the calendar meetings. Go to the calendar events on Dr. Aline L. Bay dot com. Also, too, Brother Walter Williams has gotten in contact with us, and he is going to be on the next Wednesday show. So, Dr. Walter Williams, he has a new book coming out, so you definitely don't want to miss that. And then the week um, following that, we have Brother Tahaka, and he's going to be on. So, I just wanted to give you all like a, a breakdown of what's going to be going on in the coming Wednesdays. Um, we do have a mailing list, so when you go to the website, scroll down to the bottom and get on the mailing list. And I see we do have a question from area code 978. I'm unmuting your phone, 978. Please answer your question. Hi. How are you doing? This is this is Petanin. Hello. And, uh, Peace. I really enjoyed it. I mean, I kind of got sucked into it. I, I would have pressed one earlier, too. I was just taking the ride with you guys, like, you know. Cool. But, um, I mean, I had a bunch of questions, really. I mean, 
I'm just really into um, the meditation aspect, and I was even thinking like to to have certain abilities, like like we hear like I you've spoken about a brother a brother that was projecting himself in two places at the same time, a brother that, mm-hmm. that had done that, and I was just thinking like like is it really just you know within the body itself like we we don't need amulets or like you know like gems or you don't. I mean, I, you don't. It, it yeah, yeah, because cool. I was just thinking, like, you got brothers, like, you know, they do they do the ceremonies and everything, like, even, like, Panic, he's doing ceremonies and stuff. And even I just started getting into the ceremony aspect. But even before this, I was having, like, clear sentience and clear, you know, certain moments of certain stuff. Like, I found a stack full of $500 on, on the railroad track, so I lost it. And I pretty much, like, walked, you know, maybe, maybe about an hour. Me about an hour and a half, but I found the money. You know how long train tracks are? Train tracks, you know? There's, like, rows of train tracks. You know what I mean? So That's you. That's you creating that. You have the capability in you. Your abilities are always there. They're just asleep. <coughs> so everyone has their own set of abilities. Clairvoyance, clairsentience, uh, tele- tele- uh, all forms of tele- telepathy. Um, that's all part of our innate abilities that we have and uh, within us that are asleep. So, yes, and you need nothing we use gems because we need tools now because we forgot who we were. Once you start remembering yeah. and letting those abilities show up without question and without judgment, they'll start to manifest a little quicker and better, and especially at this time. Yeah, I definitely had heard uh, Brother Aileen talked about burning incense and, and people using that for um, having visions and stuff like that. But I know we can mm-hmm. have the visions just pretty much taking um, Reiki and um, pranayama to the next level. And I was going to have a question about what's the more stronger forms of meditation because, you know, you have P. Primanel, this brother, I watched some of his videos, and um, he's doing a lot of, like, vocal meditation, like like out loud, you know, the the ohms. And there was another brother who came on the show before who was talking about um, the Orisha's vocal kind of like, you know, pranic sound meditation. I, I don't know. I feel like they all implement them all. But at any moment, they could set off something. I think all forms of meditation, it's whatever resonates with you is what you do. It's one form of meditation. Remember this. I love the vocal because it's also that toning is also activating codons to open. It's almost like breaking over codons. It also is helping your kundalini rise, open up certain chakras or heal certain. Toning is wonderful. So um, I think whatever resonates with you, because remember, we're all from a different our family. So what may resonate with you and do well for you may not do that much for me. So whatever feels good, that's what you do. Yeah. I mean, I definitely feel it, too. I feel it, like, you know, even as far as us as a people, how vocal we are, like, we're constantly as a people singing. People who don't sing are singing. You know what I mean? People who don't even be singing are singing. You hear them and they'll be singing well, you know, to even vibrate your insides like that. That comes from having all the um, capacities of the the, the first being, capacities of the God body and stuff. So it just feels different. I mean, I feel like that's what's about to be, too. It's about to be like a kind of a sound revolution. Some certain people are just sucked into the wrong sounds. I feel like those are the clones, you know, certain people, right? Because how could you hear certain stuff and be okay with it? You know? Absolutely. You sound like you're well on your way. <laughs> I know, I'm trying. I'm trying, you know. I, I, I just want, like, the, I, I want the full on. I want the full on um, the abilities now. I feel like I heard a brother come on talking on the show before, and he was like, you know, we need to do something. Like, like we had a brother, he was like, you know, he was getting kind of, you know, worked up about it, you know, and he was like, we have to do something right now. And it sounded like almost he's talking like physical. We're doing stuff like, again, manifesting ourselves in two locations at one time. Yeah. You know, Biology. his brother's talking about, yeah. yeah, his brother's talking about they're walking around in, in the rain and they'll walk like, uh, like you know, whatever, a couple blocks and get to the location and be dry, no umbrella, yeah. you know? Very good. Everyone, your abilities right now will start to manifest because we're at the end of a cycle of, of, of another entity and we're in the home court advantage going into the home court advantage of the the first cycle which is the people who are melanated because our ancestors have returned so what's happening with that you'll be gifted an opening up of your latent abilities and everybody's abilities manifest differently some people's abilities will 
with one ability, major ability, you'll have several uh, in comfort, you know, com- coming with that. So, you know, whatever shows up for you, it's usually whatever somebody, what I've noticed with people's abilities, whatever their talent or whatever they like to do, it has to do with their ability. So if you're yeah. a person who likes to listen to people, you tend to be a little more psychic. If you're a people, person who likes to just, um, you know, you're always worried about what other people are doing or if they're sick, you're very, you know, you're very nurturing. You, those where you get a lot of your healers, people who can touch yeah. people and heal people. Um, but you should start getting a lot of your abilities telepathically. You should be able to, when someone's thinking about you to call you, you should automatically get that in your head. A lot of people are getting that now, and you'll know when someone's about to call you. Um, yeah. Some of the people have more abilities. Uh, one of mine is, um, well, one of my abilities uh, is, you know, someone that I know or have loved is doing something. I can smell whatever they're doing, like if they're smoking a cigarette or if they're putting on yeah. lotion, I can smell it. Yeah. <laughs> it busts them out. And that was happening to me. Yeah, that's happening to me. I was looking at people in their pictures and they have something, and I could almost taste what I'm looking at in the picture. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I, I was trying to be like, how is that possible? You know, I, I was just like, it's, you know. It's your ability. It's not how it's possible. It is you. That's who you are. You just forgot. You just remember it. It's always wow. been a part of it. Yeah. Just keep remembering who you are, and those will keep showing up. And don't question it when it comes up, because the quickest way to make a ability go back dormant is to question it and judge it. Like, that's what Christianity, yeah. some Christian religions have done that, is made people say, oh, that's the demon, that's the devil. And then people get scared that they got a demon in them, and then they judge it, and the ability goes away. Because the ability won't show up unless you're ready for it. So, yeah. you know, make sure you don't judge it when it comes. Even if it's something that you haven't mastered and it shows up a little weird, like some people throw things with their mind, like they'll make things fall off shelves and it scares them. Don't judge it. They sca- okay, they're I, scaring I gotta themselves. Get yeah. <laughs> I got to get better at that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're, they're basically scaring themselves, basically. Yeah. You know, because yeah. they, they just don't understand. But it's like this stuff uh, yeah. that we, we can do, like the Markaba and everything like that. Like, because that, isn't that what the cosmonauts are doing? Don't they exactly. have a Markaba and, and, and they're, they're breaking through the atmosphere, taking on the elements? Like, you know, it's almost like we look different ways uh, in different planets then. Like, yes, like all yes. Then. So if you and me were to do the Markaba right now and, you know, unlock the ability with traveling, by the time we get to somewhere else, we might be a different color even, you know, a different yes, kind of brown uh, even. You're right on point. Yes, you say you match the vibration of wherever you go. So you ma- you shapeshift. You know, we talk about shapeshifters all the time, but that's an ability we all have. So when we see entities do it, we freak out, like, oh, my God, they're shape-shifting. No, that's what they do. And, you know, a lot of times when you see people morphing on television, it's, you know, it's, it's them shift, shape, shifting into a form that makes us feel more comfortable. And that's what you do when you go into other dimensions or other planets. Yeah. It's morph into something that's, that's more indigenous to those entities or those people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I definitely, yeah, there's, there's got to be enough of us on this frequency. We're just waking up all over the place, you know. It's just yes, we dear. have to hold up together. And we and we have to really, you know, like, like that's what I'm saying about the abilities. Like, we all have to get into meditation and really take it to the next level. Because I know ceremonies, I mean, it's all your thoughts going around and doing stuff for you, basically. Isn't it like pretty much ceremonies, you're yeah. stepping outside? Yeah. Ceremonies help you to focus. That's why ceremonies are used for people who need focus. That's what it helps you with. Tools are used to help you focus as well. When you get to a certain point, you will need neither. Okay? So, yeah, that wow. That helps you at the beginning stages, yeah. But meditation, ceremonies, and tools are only being talked about doing to help people to focus. I know many of people who don't. I'm not a meditator, and you know, and I'm just, you know, I, I do it occasionally when I, I'm doing a clearing or something, but I just, that's not my thing. And I, my ability yeah. to show up. Strong and valid, and you know, but I also yeah. fast, so you know, I also eat. Yeah, you, very yeah, you, yeah, you see, you know, and your, and your insides are completely, uh, are like, like on a um, bio mineral balance, so they're completely yeah. um, alkaline. Your, your insides, and make sure so you like, that, yeah. regardless. Yeah, yeah, and and for the males, I see for males on a general level, males have to be mindful of the females they encounter because we have a lot of succubus come in female form who will take some of that energy for us too. And if they're not healthy and they're eating unhealthy, remember our skin is an organ, uh, a, you know, a big organ. You absorb whatever they are. Yeah. People, and right now at this time, you are who you are around. So I'm seeing a lot of people morphing into their their people around them. Be mindful of that energetically. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that's showing up right now. 
with the root chakra, that's where they're trying to get at you. So that hypersexuality, that hypersense of pulling you into that vortex that way, that's showing up a lot because that's the only way they can get you now. They're trying to stop you before yeah. you get to the next level. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, it's so not going to work, you know. It, a, a lot of these people that are susceptible to that, too, very susceptible, they might not even be, like we said, like people. But as far as our that's people, true. we that are. That is true. Yeah. They're going to have souls. You're right. They might, they might and, be empty theaters. Yeah, you're right. And there's other souls, too. There's, like, older souls, and then you have, like, newer souls, and it's, like, what will become of, like, some of the youngest and the newer souls? Because it's, like, the older souls, without effort, are seeming to just be, like, you know, you know, like someone press a button on your forehead, you know? Like, you just, like... Yeah. Like, you, 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 all, like, like all of a sudden, you're, all of a sudden you're in effect, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. You got those on analog, and you got those that are digital, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? Absolutely. Because that's what it's seeming like. That's what it's seeming like, but... I definitely I see a lot of stuff that they're doing. Like you talked about the clones. Even my last thing is, um, if yeah. you guys saw saw this commercial, and it's about the RFE, the RFID chip, but they got the phone in the guy's chest. You know, like he's got like basically an iPhone. Don't do like, it. Yeah. Chest. Did Did you see yeah. it? Did you see his commercials? Because I, I've I, I seen them trying to like put, are they yeah. on TV. You've seen yeah, them, right? Yeah, but they're trying to put chips. Yeah, they're trying to put chips in people's arms. You know, scanning things so you can scan all your information on your arm. Also, people have to be careful with tattoos. A lot of the tattoos yeah. have metallic um, paint in it. You can go and get a vegan tattoo. There's one in Brooklyn. I don't know who's in New York. There's a great place called King King. They do vegan tattoos. Be mindful of the ink that they put inside of you because, remember, that's a blood covenant. When you make a, you know, you make a yeah. dream and make sure that symbol is on point with your vibration because if you get a symbol like an onk and you're not matching the onk, you'll get the opposition of an onk. I tell people that all the time. Wow. It's yeah. supposed to bring you life force, but if you are, uh, you know, an unsavory type of person and you've got an onk on you, we'll do the opposition of that. That's a blood covenant. People got to be mindful of tattoos. If you have them, you know, just make yeah. sure you close any vortex that might be open with that particular tattoo or have it removed. Yeah. Even though I, the covenant still <laughs> Basically. That, yeah, that's a dangerous thing, you know. Yeah. Right now. It's not something, yeah. I I seen these things too. It's like you're talking about. They have like like computer chip tattoos too, and then like they got people like walking around looking like robots and stuff. They got you know, it's almost like they're a transhumanism to machines. Yeah, they're getting ready. Yeah, they're getting yeah. ready for what they bring in because they they know that there's not many people who are going to be here. So Terminator, you know, the the woman who wrote Sophia uh, Stewart Stewart who wrote movies that simulated for the Matrix and Terminator. She talks about that. Yeah. Our world turning into like a computer program. That's a certain reality. Make sure you're creating and rising your frequency above that reality, because that's going to be a reality for some people. Wow. And that's where they're going. So, you know, you go to where your frequency matches, and when the pole, physical pole shift occurs, we will all go to the time uh, frequency and uh, vibrational frequency place that we match. So if you still, and I don't, I, you know, I'm sorry for all those, I'm not going with Hennessy, because, you know, i got a lot of people I know who drink Hennessy, but I'm just saying <laughs> that's the, the liquor right now they're, yeah. they're lowering the vibration of the liquor because it's a liquid. What they're doing is they're lowering it. If you keep doing things that are depreciative to your genealogy and to your peace of mind, you're going to be on that level where you're in that world with those other type of beings that are just as low vibrational, like a prison, more of a prison planet. So if you okay being there, then by all means, uh, take a shot for me. But if you don't want to be gonna, there, you yeah. don't have to plan. You could be balanced. I'm not saying nobody should drink, but just drink to a level where you're balanced and you're not doing it daily. Because, again, yeah, and, that's you wine know, and spirit. Yeah. And just susceptible yeah, for it, demon, demon attachment. Yeah. Indeed. People should really I mean, yeah. make sure that they're fasting, too. Because what's, what's in there, what call, you know, what's going through your body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, and when, when you have, like, a lot of flesh in your body and you're drinking, that's when I see people act the wildest is right, right there. Well, they got you know, and they have, attachment. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. entities, four-dimensional entities that can attach. Because you like the like last year. Spider Man, they in in their comic book they was like it was like multiverse. They had like all different types of Spider Man come to this one single universe to stop a family. Which is so the way they call it is the Marvel crew. They try uh-huh. they just like well I can't say it because I really don't know. But I kinda of, it, it's kinda of summing of what you're talking about and some of the summing what I think. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Now we can. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> hi. I just my name is um, Thomas Castillo L. Bay from Tampa. How y'all doing hey, tonight? Thomas. Hey. hey. How you doing, yo? Peace. Peace. Love. Uh, yeah. Um, I kind of wanted to hear y'all opinion on this particular article I read um some months back last year on Yahoo. And, um, it was talking about Spider Man's um comic book. And what was happening, it was like a multiverse. Different Spider-Men were coming to this one single universe to stop a, a family that was like, that traveled interdimensionally, just killing off and sucking on like different special beings, I would say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a reality. It's, it can be a reality. If it's conceivable, it's believable. Yeah, absolutely. And they tell you a lot in comics. comics is you, can, you can get a lot of gems out of comics and video, video games. Yeah, I, I see they, they, they kind of like pushing a lot of comics in general. Or I don't know what particular reason. I think it's good and it's also like bad. bad. Nothing, everything, everything, everything is what you perceive it to be, you know? Um, and be mindful of how, that's what I say, be mindful, your, your perception can change your reality, or your reality could be based on your perception. Either way, it's the same. Mm. Um, just be mindful of the things, it's thoughts of things. Uh, Delbert Blair goes into that. If you, you got to be, right now, because we're co-creating right now, we're, we're, we're almost fully manifesting quickly. Like, if I think something... As much as, you know, you guys know I have a thing for coffee. That's just my thing. You know, like Starbucks. If I think about it, all of a sudden it'll just show up in someone's hand or someone will say, you know, you want to go get a coffee now. It'll just show up. So be mindful because things are manifesting quickly. Be mindful of the things in your head or those around who will put things in your head and that will manifest through you. So, you know, um, anything you think, anything you play, anything you listen to, anybody you, you kiki with, just, you know, whatever they are, you are. You, they manifest. If they got debt issues, if they got money issues, and you don't, you will have their issues with debt if you hang around people of that frequency. Right. I I, I, I hear you 100%. I do the same out here. Okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, we got to start calling out our friends and making them accountable for things, too, in our world, you know, so that if, you know, if you got – people who don't understand that what's going on right now, just, you know, kindly share and see if they're receptive. If they're not, just keep it moving. They may not be ready. If so, share and allow them to grow because that will help you if you want to be around them. Right. Okay. And um, I agree 100% um, about the insectilian thing. Um, yeah, I heard I- I heard it before, and I, when you said it, I was like, oh, she knows exactly what she's talking about. Them bugs, right? you know, those bugs. <laughs> they bug <laughs> you. <laughs> Why do you think they bug your phone? And Why do you think they colonize? All these little terms no. they come to the top, they bugs. And bugs are very scientific. They're very meticulous. They're very meticulous, and they're very scientifically based. And that's who's been ruling. And the insects wow. don't like, the only thing the insects don't like is the reptilians, because remember, reptiles eat insects. It just you look in nature, that's what they do. So they're not necessarily to keep but there's one group of Dracons working with the insectilians. There's only one group right now. Wow. Right. Wow. That's deep. And start <laughs> and start noticing there's a lot of um people here, this to my knowledge, there's a lot of our cosmic beings, melanated brown people that look like normal people walking around right now. So start being conscious of those energies around you because a lot of them are here and they're walking around and they stay around those who are awake. They see your energy level and they like to see, you almost like um, observe you. So be mindful of that. Start looking around and watching people that are differently around. And a lot of them are brown people, a lot of them. So they look like normal people, but they're really cosmic beings or inter- <coughs> interterrestrials or extra t- or uh, inter- uh, interdimensional interter- Interdimensional beings. There's so many different right. things, so it could be inter- right. and, and, interdimensional. And, and the, right, and also to look at um, a movie, we, you know, District Nine showed the bugs. Oh, you know, yes. um, you know, um, in toys. So, you know, also yes. um, what's the other movie where they was fighting? Um, it was a, like oh, I think it was called Troopers, wasn't it? 
Is that the name of oh, it? Oh, Troopers. Oh, Star Troopers. Star Troopers with the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah Star Troopers. Was, yeah, they, so, they showed them. There you go. Right, they showed them on there. So, yeah, there's several movies that keep showing over and over again that there's insectoids, you know. And notice how they show them. They usually show them not as insidious as all the other ETs. All the black ETs, they make them into alien, you know, um, predator. Um, right, predator. The, the crazy. Yeah, the crazy looking. Remember the elongated heads and the melanated skin? That's us they're talking about with the dreadlocks. Predator had the dreadlocks and the melanated skin. You know, looking all crazy mm. in the face. That's not who, what we look like, but they try to make him look like a monster. Same with aliens. The alien that was on a ship with Sigourney Weaver, he had a big melanated head, looked crazy. That's really our elongated head is our, an, you know, our ancestors from, you know, right. the times, Marian times, and so on. That's the depiction of us. They always oh, E.T. was brown. Look at him coming in the neighborhood. And I'm pissed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm watching my words. I'm <laughs> upset because, you know, when I saw E.T., his eyes were brown. Now, you know, I, I live close to Universal Studios. His eyes are blue. It, it totally yep. upset me. I was confused. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that's simple, but that bothered me. You know, I'm from that age. I like E.T. <laughs> and, <laughs> and his eyes blue. Well, it just got me messed with me. I'm well, <laughs> from the same so I can definitely um, uh, sympathize with you about that. <laughs> yeah, man. You can't be alone. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's already fucked Um Yeah, so start paying attention to them. They hear also their abilities. They're also, if you start using your mind to talk to people, because we can talk to each other now more strongly. I have more conversations with people now not speaking. We Speaking is a very archaic form. We never used to do that before. So, Start talking to people in your minds, and when you're outside and you think you see a melanated star being, talk to them in your mind and watch how they'll turn and look at you. It'll bug you out. <laughs> I'm telling you, they'll do it. <laughs> I'll be doing that. <laughs> my, my cousin said you just freaked him out. I'll be doing that, and then somebody turn around and look at me and be like... I do that, I do that with people when, I, when, I'm, in, when I'm riding the car. In the car, I just look outside the window. <laughs> Good. Start doing that. And that's the way that a lot of other racial, racial people, because they don't have a functioning pineal gland, they cannot do that. We have a – we have the, not all of them, but we as melanin people, we have – we're easy, we can easily do that amongst each other. That's why they don't like us to gather in big places together because we have a lot of magnetic energy. That's why they always try to break up our group when we're too close together because we, we speak to each other subliminally and telepathically all the time. You know, you ever see a brother, and you just true. know he's up so good. You just feel him. Yeah. yeah. You know him, you hear him, you hear him in his head, thinking all kinds of insidious things. You know what to do when you see somebody like that. You can hear when someone's, I can hear when someone's whispering about me, you know, right behind me. I can hear it. I've had I've had someone I've ordered my coffee. I know I talk about this. I ordered my coffee. I was at a new, uh, you know, new coffee shop, and they didn't know me. I, people here know me, but they didn't know me, and I didn't say anything. And I had put the thought in their head. I have a specific coffee I drink every day for the last year, like ten years. I just do. I drink the same coffee every day. And the mm-hmm. lady who saw me, I didn't say anything out my mind. She she said my order. And I said, how did you know that? She said, you just told me. I didn't open my mouth. I said it in her mind, and she got the order. That was wild. I only have That's one. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> That's where we're at. That's where we're at, gentlemen. So, uh, you know, we're not in Kansas anymore. So just be prepared. And this is also why, <laughs> another reason why you're also seeing a lot of slayings visually on television is because, I got a document, and I haven't verified it, but I will say I got a document sent to me by another white gentleman, and it talks about some of the paraphernalia they're giving to the police stations about black people showing extra extra abilities that they need to be mindful that these black people may be showing things. So sometimes when we're seeing shootings, it's because they've been told that we may be able to do something kinetically. I don't know how verifiable this document. It looks legitimate, but I, I got to get people who I know who know no, that's that this the is truth. real. That's the truth. There's several articles that came out over the past year talking about how so-called whites feel that blacks, so-called blacks, have superhuman powers. Yeah. So we yeah. know. So we yeah. know that based on those articles, we can make that small leap into knowing 
And that has to be taking place because why else would you have to shoot someone 40 and 50 times? Absolutely. You know, which it was exhibiting in which that had you so frightened that you just like, look, I got to unload this gun, this gun, this gun, and damn this gun. And also, from one of my well, from one of my AC contactees, I did hear this much, is that we, when we are, because not all murders we're seeing are true. Some of this is, you know, some, so sometimes there's visuals they're putting up to just put fear in us. But from some of those killings we're seeing of the little people, from what I'm hearing from my ET contact, um, that they are killing ETs, that we don't know that they're galactic beings, but they know they're galactic beings, okay? That's why you're seeing them shooting them so many times, because they're not human. Right. Exactly. Wow. Wow. I appreciate the um phone call. It's, it it um it has confirmed a lot of things that's been like happening like in the astros and also just with life in general. So I appreciate the the um the show tonight. Well, we appreciate you listening. So that that's been um a beautiful experience right there for you to you know get on. Um, get your questions um, answered and, you know, and enjoy the show, you know, so keep coming back and listening because um, we're going to keep having some fire shows. So um, just bear with this, you know, as we get through a lot of information because we got a whole lot more to share. Yeah, there's a lot more. <laughs> there's going to be more in the next couple of days. It'll be the last Christmas this year in the White House, so I'll just throw that out there. We'll leave that for another time. Most <laughs> of Peace and love, guys and goddess. Much love. love peace, peace, love. peace. Much love. All yeah. right, so we get to close out. Um, it's been a great show. We put out a lot of information tonight. I mean, uh, shoot. Um, these listeners, um, as you as you um, can hear, um, you confirming what they've already been thinking and what That's they've right. experienced. So. I mean, that's how you know that people are ready in order to hear this type of information because they already thought it, they already felt it, their soul already spoke to them about it. Um, so, you know, being stimulating your soul speak, you know, um, by listening to First World of Radio. We appreciate each and every one for listening. And um, any closing remarks, any further closing remarks before we go? Um, Peace, no, I- family, all I can say. <laughs> peace, peace, yeah. brother Al, no doubt. And thank you again, brother. You know, as you know, from texting him right here, like I'm gonna call in next week too. <laughs> All right, appreciate that. <laughs> I'm gonna call in next week too, yeah, because yeah, that, right. I had even more All questions right. than that, yeah. All right. Yes, and I thank wow. you for having me on this platform. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, if anybody wants to, you know, I'm on the YouTube. I'm on which most people know me on. It's Fleur Brun, F-L-E-U-R-B-R-U-N. And you can always, you know, I, I upload new information that I get in, and even if they don't want me to put it up, I'm going to put it up anyway. So if you want anything um, to interest you, if you're in this world of the ETs, the melanated ETs, you know, you feel feel free to check out um, me on YouTube or Anna Nocturne on FB. Is that right? Is it FB? FB, right? right, so check her videos out because um she has some deep ones. So um they probably will more than likely is gonna answer a whole lot more questions for you. Um yeah. and she's putting them up a whole lot more than she's ever did before, so you better get a chance to check <laughs> them <know>. out. <laughs> when they try to stop, I get no. mad and I put more up. <laughs> Don't stop, can't stop. I'm from Mount Vernon. <laughs> they can't stop me. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. All right. Well, we appreciate everybody for listening tonight. First of all, the radio. And we are out, y'all. Peace. 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 All around the production. My music.
Deadly gets a weapon when I use it on the reckless Spaceship hovering throughout the whole region Open up the sky and take the shortcut to Venus Getting on my lever, it's a hard pill to swallow Like comparing your religion to it if the earth is hollow No need to cry there and let it soak in your tomorrows Let my music soak up all your bittersweet and sorrows See the sun shining, I lay back and kick it Staying sucker free is my new way of living One day we get together, then we all start billing But the ball that I dribble got me posting like flipping Champagne glasses around my organite pyramid Glazing at the stars, show the kids where we really live These solar flares got my DNA 12 stranded Collect the kill trends and feed it to the man spring To wash the tall moors, some of us we've been here To reunite the others and cool the world with wind chills I put rap to the back for a good reason 2012-21 was a good season Fake people get exposed just for who they are Keep playing traffic in a highway with moving cars My flow bring the fear of God to these modern rappers They crawling back with kicking men and chest and hard attack them Ever since the kid went galactic My center bracket reached the top and interacted with my solar status The microphone will grab it, I guess it's just a habit A living legend in your presence, sort of like the Mavericks It ain't about me, nah, but it's about the future A golden race is on and dealing with the cockadoodles I sock it to you like your grandma and your mama used to The final stage, I ride away just like it's Honolulu I prove my old school, but since I stayed there Galactic conscious awareness, I got my grace there See with the eye of Heyru, no longer bending knees My inner chief surrender me when it's time to leave This modern day crap, I don't even follow it I'd rather symbolize my name up in the hieroglyphs Declare peace without Battlestar Galactica Foot stepping back with some more way back to Africa To wash the tall moors, some of us we've been here To reunite the others, to cool the world with wind chills I put rap to the back for a good reason 2012-21 was a good season Fake people get exposed just for who they are Keep playing traffic in a highway with moving cars My flow bring the fear of God to the modern Rappers, they crawling back with kicking men and chest and heart attack to wash the tall moors. Some of us we've been here to reunite the others to cool the world with wind chills. I put rap to the back for a good reason. 2012, 21 was a good season. Fake people get exposed just for who they are. Keep playing traffic in a highway with moving cars. My flow bring the fear of God to the modern rappers. They crawling back with kicking men and chest and heart attack them. Geico presents sharing versus oversharing. Today, Bridget Griffin shared a video of her daily yoga routine, two self-help articles, and her new blog called Build Your Inner Bridge with Bridge. Girl, your sharing has turned into oversharing. No worries, Bridge. Geico has some info worth sharing with your seven blog followers, like how you could save money on your car insurance, update your policy, and report a claim just by visiting geico.com. How's that for building your inner bridge? Bridge, Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.